Good morning, friends. We are leaving the land of gray skies, rain, and heavy log trucks like that one on my right. Heading south out of Portland on I-5. And I am going to put the pedal to the metal. I'm ready for some sunshine in Arizona. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. We're going to stop this evening down in Medford to see a friend, and from there, we'll head for California. There's some of those gray skies that I'm talking about leaving. We do stop at rest stops. We stop at nearly every rest stop, and we do this to stretch my legs, and sometimes we drive for a while before we make breakfast, and I don't know what it is, but I like rest stops. There's always something going on. Trucks coming. Trucks leaving. All different kinds of trucks. We will miss the green grass, the green trees, and the fall colors we've seen here in Oregon. A lot of times it's just cactus and stones down in Arizona. Oh, you get the Purple Mountain's majesty in the distance. But color like that, we're not going to see very much. You know, when we stop at these rest stops, sometimes we make breakfast and Sometimes we just uh, stretch our legs, but you really never know what's gonna happen at a rest stop. Did you make up a new song? Let's see. C. Can, can we hear it? Something about the song. Anthony, on my solar panels, a journey. Makes me. That's not with the way you sung it the first time. Okay. Sunshine. Uh, sunshine on my solar panels. Sunshine. It makes my solar panels a journey. And I have a journey and don't know what to do with it except put it to sleep. <laughs> Finally, we're getting some blue sky. You'll notice that I am not in the lane there. It's because I am going up Siskiyou Pass. It's a six degree pull for a long ways, many miles. The trucks slow down. And so do I, but I don't slow down as much as I used to in my old south wind. And we hit the crest, Siskiyou Pass. Going back down after these passes is scarier to me than going up, of course, because I do have an exhaust brake in my motorhome, but I'm about 42,000 pounds, and... Um, I have air brakes, but I go slow downhill. There's Mount Shasta on the left and Black Butte, the cinder cone pile. They're straight ahead. We stop at another rest stop here. I told Lynn she had to ride in the Suzuki for a while. <laughs> no, actually, she... Uh, doesn't smoke in the motorhome, so when we stop, she'll sit back there and have a cigarette. Lynn loves to color. She fills up book after book after book. Mount Shasta there on the left. We're off of I-5 now, and 
heading up towards Lassen National Park, Mount Lassen, and on to uh, Susanville. We have about a hundred miles of this kind of road before we get over the crest. We have the sun in our rear view mirrors now as we pull into the Bonanza Casino in Reno, Nevada. I walked in to see if it was okay to park here, and it certainly was. Next day, we stopped along the way, going down through Nevada on America's loneliest highway, and guess what happened? This is the loneliest road in America, oh. and it's about 200 miles of this on uh -huh. the way down to Las Vegas. A lot of construction going on here on the north end of Las Vegas. We may just skip Las Vegas this time and go on down to Lake Mead, which is one of our favorite stops on this trip. This is the view from our campsite at Lake Mead National Recreation Area. What you doing, Lynn? Shampooing. Shampooing? Standing up? Yep. <laughs> what are you really doing? I'm hemming my pants so my people hit the ground. You're hemming your pants so your feet won't hit the ground when you walk. Let me think so, about this so for a minute. No. So, oh, so you're... One more time. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh. Whoa! Good job! He's good, man. Wow! I could throw better. Yes! All right! Well, I got my work done for the day. <laughs> I think we should go for a ride. I hooked up my dash cam and uh, let's just go see what's to see around here. So I got my dash cam hooked up and I wanted to show you this. I made with cardboard and Gorilla Tape, a little holder for my iPhone. It sits right there. It works as my navigation. And I can talk to Siri. And sometimes she even talks back. The new seat covers from the back. It's looking good. Okay. Another little project on my 30-year-old car. This thing is always coming loose. It's just a plastic molding strip. I've glued it, and I've siliconed it, and I've clamped it many times. And now it's time to screw it. This was so easy. I can do it one-handed. I should have done this so long ago. Bingo! So the rest of what I've figured out about the dash cam is that I can plug, I have it plugged into my, I have a little inverter here, it's a 400 watt inverter that I put into my Suzuki dash a long time ago. And it's got a USB uh, connection. If I turn this on, there's a little button up there. The dash cam comes on. And it comes on in record mode. 
And then if I push the button down here, it takes a little bit, but this is in real time. It will shut off. There it goes. And it's off. And I want to turn the camera back on to film something. I just push the button again. It's working out very well. Let's go for a ride. Oh, the beach area. Mm -hmm. You can swim. There's no fishing. There's no walking your dog. There's no launching your boat. There's no drinking. There's no campfire. There's no tenting. And there's no cars. Uh, I don't know what that leaves. Oh, swimming. Oh, that sign says model aircraft flight area. I can fly my drone here. I'm going to come back with my drone. Here we are down at the marina. Lots of boats, big boats, little boats, lots of big boats. This is actually the marina for Las Vegas. It's called the Las Vegas Marina. I'm going back to get my drone. Uh, it's a little late in the day. We got these long shadows. I don't know how well it's going to work for taking video, but I need the practice. So we'll give it a try. So this is a Phantom 3 Advanced, and the whole thing is a little more complicated, and it's a bit of more of a learning curve than I anticipated when I thought I wanted a drone. And I did want a drone, and I'm glad I have it, but I'm still learning and one of the things I am not confident enough to do yet is fly over water so I'll go towards Lake Mead but I'm not gonna go out over the water I'm not that confident of my ability to fly although the drone itself has a lot of abilities and it has a function that will just bring it back where it started called the home point if it gets in trouble or if I get in trouble so short of crashing uh, or running into something it's um, pretty safe to fly there is a lot more to it I had to register with the FAA. I didn't anticipate that. I've had to get apps that tell me where you can fly and where it's legal to fly it. I got out there over the RV park and I wanted to take a picture of my RV, but I kind of thought the camera froze, so I hit the home button and um, set the controller down and held my breath. I couldn't see it. I couldn't hear it. It was too far away, and it will go far away, way out of sight. I finally cupped my hands to my ears, and I could hear it coming. Yes. <laughs> and then finally I could see it. So I'm looking at it, and it, looking straight up, you feel like you're going to fall over backwards, so... I kind of back up and get out of the way. And I don't think that it's going to land on me. That's not the thing. It's just that looking straight up is hard on the neck. And 
finally. There it comes. It just comes home on its own and sits down very gently and shuts itself off. Yay! Well, we made it to Arizona. We are at the van build tonight, and our first sunset in Arizona is not a disappointment. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.